the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, the Saint Anton of Padua is an outstanding saint for so many miracles he performed, and uh, he is really respected in the whole Catholic Church. He was born on the 15th of August, 1195, and died on the 13th June, 1231. In the in the Portugal, he was born in Portugal, but he is known as the Saint Anton of Padua because he settled in the, in the Italy. He was canonized on the thirtieth May, twelve thirty two, the shortest time a saint has taken for canonization, just eleven months only, and he is the doctor of the church. The doctor of the church, there are 34 doctors of the church, so is among uh, the those doctors. Uh, there are so many miracles attributed to him when he was still alive. And uh, that means even now, when he's in heaven, there are numerous uh, miracles which can be performed through his intercession. It is Jesus, but through the intercession of uh, the saint, how these miracles are performed. So when he, we look at he, his life, he was originally an uh, Augustinian congregation, and then uh, later on, when he, he changed it to Franciscan, and uh, he took up the name of Anthony, left the former name, saint of Francis. So, when he heard that he, the Franciscan missionaries had been killed in Northern Africa, he really felt that is the real sacrifice for Jesus. He also wanted to be like them. But uh, uh, when he changed everything, is the way uh, God, God arranges, you can see him in holding baby Jesus. That is one of the attributes, and also uh, a lily, so he could get that grace of having baby Jesus in his hands. Then the lily flower, it is a sign of purity. He really observed his purity, and uh, also a book, one of the attributes. That book is uh, to show how he was a preacher. And uh, then the tonsoir, when you see him on the head, the tonsoir, uh, that is one of the attributes you see on Saint uh, Anthony of uh, Padua. Uh, when he settled in Padua in Italy, he really did a great job. But the miracles which make us really see the power of God working in him, we numerous, but we can just take a few, especially where we we are told that he he is the patron saint of uh, lost properties. Now, when a, a saint is given that attribute of like now stolen properties. When he was in the monastery, there was a novice who was studying, and then he stole St. Anthony's book. And when he was running away, giving up even the vocation, the vision appeared to him, telling him to take back that book. And St. Anthony recovered the, uh, his book. Then we look at uh, the, the body. When the exhumed it, they found his tongue incorruptible. The tongue is the one used for preaching the word of God. So one time he was going to preach the word of God and the people could not listen to him. He said, okay, I will go to the lake or the sea there and then preach to the fish. And he went and preached to the fish. And the fish came up out of the water listening to his word. You see, nature. 
and they listen like the, they said the Francis overseas you could be with the birds, the animals. Uh, that is one of the, the miracles. Then we look at another one which was also a wonderful miracle. Bonovillo was a, a very rich uh, uh, heretic, not believing at all, but he challenged the Saint Anton that if he can perform a miracle to convince him, he will become a Catholic. So he had a new, he stabbed it, he brought it to Saint Anthony to, for the miracle. There was put grass there or the, the hair for it to eat, but the new genuflected in front of the Blessed Sacrament, which uh, St. Anton of Padua was uh, holding. Imagine an animal which was very, very hungry. Then another one was uh, when uh, he was in the monastery, he got a vision that his father had been arrested as a suspect for the murder of a certain man. Because they found the body near the, 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 the of Anthony's father in the garden, rather. So he got that vision and asked for permission to go and rescue his father. And uh, he, when he went, the law enforcers were there. He told them, I will come to confirm that it is not my father who killed the, the man. So they went to the grave and uh, St. Anthony prayed and ordered for the dead man to come out of the grave and the dead man came out and told all those officials that it is not him who killed me and he went back to his grave and that was the end of the story. The father of St. Anthony was left free although they did not know who killed the man. Then he uh, just to mention a few because there are so many miracles, even up to now he's still performing miracles. Uh, in Padua there was a rich man who never wanted to do anything with the church, abusing the church, he believed in his wealth only. So when time came for him to die, the relatives rushed to uh, Pad uh, Anthony, a priest, to say mass for him, a requiem mass. He said, no, I cannot. Eat. Celebrate mass for somebody who never even attended any mass at all in his life and who was always, always abusing the Catholic Church. They pleaded so much, but then he wanted to perform that thing, the miracle for them. He told them to bring the, the dead body in the church. They brought it, and in the homily, he said, The heart of this man lying here is where his treasure is. And that is already in the Bible, in the Gospel, you know it very well. So after the Mass, they complained to Father Anthony that how could you p p preach about uh, our person like this when we are bereaved, we are grieved. The, he said, okay, why are you uh, complaining? You go where he has kept his treasures in the safe and uh, see what is there. They rushed there, they saw a fresh heart, just very, very fresh, a human heart. They came back trampling to Anthony. So uh, Father Anthony, they told him and he said, okay, if you want to confirm, you can you, uh, open the body of uh, the dead man and see where the heart is located. They, they took it and they did that opening of the body and they found the heart missing, confirming that he had performed that miracle to show that what, the, what Jesus preached, that your heart is where your treasure is, can be practical. And many others have experienced many miracles because of his intercession. I lost my property yes, some time back, and when I prayed through St. Anthony with all the devotees, I recovered my property. And we really uh, thank Jesus for having given us such a great saint who is now in heaven interceding for us. If you have any problem, please pray through St. Anthony. The one submission are just a few of the attributes. Otherwise, is the patron saint of even travelers and many other things. You can research about him.
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.